Hello, I'm Dr. Gareth Moore and I'm a puzzle and brain training author. But in this video, I'm not going to be writing puzzles, I'm going to be solving them, in particular this, Hooray, along with... Hey, Laura! <laughs> that's me! <laughs> Today we are looking at Unlock Ooh. Short Adventure. I don't know how to pronounce this. No, I've actually only seen the dragon on the front, but I didn't actually look. Do... Do Aaron's Dungeon, do, do, do you reckon? Do a... Do a ran? Do a ran? Do a It was French originally, and I said say a new version, Enhanced Experience, and I think it was Ooh. originally... A demo adventure in French, maybe, and also perhaps in English on the website. How exciting. It's now released as part of the new Unlock Short Adventure series of six games. Which we've been having fun with. And we've noticed each time we've done it so far that it says 30 minutes at the top, just here, oh, on the yes. little stopwatch. But it actually gives us 40 minutes on the timer. In the game, yeah. In the app, which we'll show you in just a hot second. Just here we are. This. this is stage one. This is puzzle number one. Yeah, Can you the access the cards? Oh no, and then we always struggle to get this cellophane off. Yeah, is there a tab? should be a pull tab Is there a pull tab? Right, we've got the pull tab. It's a very exciting moment, and this is the final flourish. Right, we've won now, haven't we? So it refers to an app, and we have said app we here, do. which is quite hard to see on the camera, so I have it set up on the screen I'm here show you as well. I'm just going to move that. Oh, oh, the box there we go. The way. Okay, so I don't think we need to go through all of the standard rules for unlock. We've done them in a previous video, which I'll link at the top right, where we went through the tutorial. But basically, you've got numbers on cards, and you can combine red and blue cards. And what it tells you to do is to set off on the quest here. Press Yay. start in the app. So let's start by reading this. Then we'll begin the app, which has a timer in it and is also used to interact in various ways. That's when all the excitement really begins. Yes. Okay, do you want to read? Okay. You've got good reading voice. Oh, thank you. According to the tales of a bard, a dragon has taken up residence in a fortress in the heart of the Zaurek Forest, Ooh. deep within the kingdom of Luobert. Months of searching for the dungeon has finally led you to its entrance. Has it already been plundered or are there still treasures to be found? Being brave and bold, you decide to venture inside. Will you come out with gold, or will you perish within the dark depths of the dungeon? Launch the Unlock app, which I've done. Select the Do Aaron's Dungeon, which is here. Ooh. It's only one difficulty rating out of three. So we're and it does it. say 30 minutes. It does. Uh, this one actually matches says 30 box. minutes. The first okay. one done that matches the box. Here we go. Uh, and then press start. So when I press start, the time will start counting down. Uh, flip this there card over and take card six to set off on the quest. Okay. How exciting. Are these all in order? No, ah. they're not in order. Right, let's zoom out. Yes, yeah, so we're going to start by sorting the... I'll just pause that. We're going to start by sorting the cards into numerical order because otherwise we end up doing this on video for, it's ages, not fun for you. ages at a time. It's not fun for us. Right, okay. So we've both sorted cards into piles. I've got from 40 upwards, which goes up to 99. I've got 39 downwards, which goes down to a 1 or similar. And there are no letters this time. No sometimes letters. There are letters. Sometimes we get letters. Right, so we need to take 6, it told us. 6 so we've got. got six. I've and got 6. We can, these, these correspond to the bits you can see. So 43 should be that building on the left. Oh, yes, it's a wall. Very Exciting. nice. Exciting. Um, and 94 is that doorway. Mm. Must be at the back. And 31, 31 we've got. looks like that. What All right, let me get rid of that. Hang on, I forgot to press play again. Slight advantage there. Let's hide that. Hide that anyway. We don't see it. All there the time. we go. Okay. So I reckon we can zoom in on these. Uh, right. So there's a wheel. You just... are at the entrance to Do Aaron's dungeon. Oh yes. Overbearing silence is a bad omen. You see a light at the end of the corridor, and that is at the end of card 94. Right, which is here. Which says. The basement is damp and poorly lit. The body of a halfling is slumped against the wall. Oh, here. Yeah. Awkward. So we can take... Oh, there's hidden card number 46 as well. Yeah. So we can take 18, 24 and 46. But let's come back to that, just yeah. so we don't get overwhelmed. It told us to take card 6 at the start. That's so, a machine card. Ah, yes. Mm. So for that, we can bring up the app, and we can press the machine button and type in the card number 6 and press OK. And now we can interact. Oh, it's dark. Oh. Attraction. And maybe it's showing my camera. Oh, it is. So I can I can view things. We can view things with it. Attraction, um, attraction is triangle and blizzard is circle. Thanks to this magic Insert scroll, you'll be able to use magic symbols to cast ah. spells throughout the adventure. There is a slot where a new spell can be learned. Right, so if I wanted to cast a... So on this, if I wanted to cast an attraction, I would do a triangle, right? Ooh. Nothing happened. Ooh. Ooh. Something happened. Ooh. But, but what is it? Doesn't it doesn't do anything. Don't know what we do Blizzard as well. <laughs> what fun! Yeah. And then insert the fire element. Okay, so there's a fire spell to level. So obviously those didn't do anything on that. Okay, so we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that, yeah. Okay. All right. So we know we, we can cast spells. Yes, and then there's a wall. Does With that a constellation have... on ah, it? Ah, constellation. Mm. A coat hanger. Sort of. 
cracks in the fragile will remind you of the constellation Leo. Ah, just what I was thinking. Interesting. There we go. So I would say try and attract in or blizzard in it, but we did that. So already that's not it. And then we've got a shield. A shield. And that's uh, a blue card. Which means we can combine it with a red card. Hmm. Right. Okay. Should we draw those cards first of all? Yes. 24, 18 and 46. With any one of those for me is 46. So 24. I shall start with that. Oh. As you approach the well, a water elemental jumps out of it. Oh. So we can maybe throw a blizzard on it or something. Should we do that? Um, what, what have we got? Attraction or blizzard? And do you want to turn over these cards first just go in case then. they've got anything funny? So that's 18. The torch burns. Oh, there we go. The torch burns rapidly. Soon you'll be left with no fire and no light. What can you do? Da, da, da. Let's find out what 24 says. Ooh. More cards to take. More cards. The winding corridor ends at a locked door. We can take even more cards. And it looks like there's a sort of abandoned bow. Yes, 78 no and 29. I can really just zoom out now. Just mm. keep track of all these cards. Oh, 78 is the bow. Oh my which has goodness. got measuring notches on the side with yes. letters. A bow, essential for fighting the dragon, and it says F here. And it has does. some letters here as well. It says H and I. I guess it's going to spell something. Ooh, I can't see that. I think that's what it says. G, H and I. Oh, yeah. G, H and I. Okay. And then this, which looks like a spell. How might How you, might use, you this? use this parchment scroll? Do you think we drag... It's got a sparkle on here. Oh, th is that what we use to cast spells? Because it's got the triangle... And the plus. And the circle on it. Oh, oh, right. Do you reckon we cast them both on it? Let's try that. Should we just see what happens just, if we do we're it? We're just throwing out ideas everywhere. Shall Let's we start here. with... Here we go. Start with the triangle. You never know whether it's actually recognised the card you're holding or not. Mm, sometimes it's, it's, focus. Slightly, it's clearly not in focus. Let's try a why circle. Do, why don't you wait until it is in focus? Okay, I'll hold it higher. There you go. It's not using the, the close-up camera on the iPhone. You have to be patient, don't you? Yeah. And the triangle is upside down, despite the way I drew it. To nudge your upwards to I'm start not sure. with. I'm not sure. I'm doing it at the same it time. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Okay. Right. Okay. Well, let's try. Let's try this guy. So, do we want to freeze him? Um. Yeah. Blizzard. Circle. Send right. A blizzard. But he looks kind of already frozen. Oh, no, he's made about like water, right? Oh. Ah. Hooray! So we have frozen him. We froze him. Great. Now what? Should we click on him? Do we tap him and smash him? Tap him and smash him? Maybe. Yes. 48. And that's okay. you. You've got 48. Okay, 48. And that's, is that the end of that, maybe? Yeah, I think that probably is the end of that. Here we go. Oh, hidden object. Did you check the inside edge of the well? Yes, we did. It said 46. Yeah, we've got that. 48. Discard 46. In fact, it knows we've already done that because we've it already must do. interacted with that bit of the game. Anyway, discard that. The elemental kept an object within its essence. It glows deep within the depths of the well's dark water. So we use attraction to get it, right? Ooh, yeah. Which is triangle, yes? Uh, yeah. Fun. It's not often that I get to cast spells. So, do you want to have the phone? No, no. I'm excited. Oh, 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 oh. Take, Take card, card 60. 60. Ooh, fun. That's me again. <laughs> Sorry, you're doing all the hard work and I'm just here narrating. Discard 48. A rusty key. Oh, there we go. Does that lead to our... That's our locked door here. Okay. Which is a red card. Shall we combine those? Yes, that gives us card 84. It's Gareth's card again. Mind you, mind it, I did start from the 30s, so we didn't split that very well, did we? Arrows. I've got no idea if that means... Oh, yeah, it's just discard 60. Otherwise, how would we know that we'd come from the correct card? It doesn't say you open a door. Anyway, you activated, you activated a, trap. a trap and a volley of arrows flies towards you. I assume that's the correct card to take. I think so. Those. We've got a key and it says it ends at a locked door. I wish they here. told you what card it came from. Honestly, yeah. it's a, the big flaw in these games. But at least they, you, you know that you must have taken 60, know, but, but you still. mean where it came from. Right, so right. now we'll take machine card. We'll <laughs> try machine 84, right? Dodge a volley of machine arrows. Machine 84. Okay. Oh, we can choose the arrows. Presumably I can tap on them and light them up, yes. And I can say okay at the bottom. How do we know which arrows to tap? You must dodge them. Are we meant to be the person in the mask? Are we meant to tap the ones that... I actually have no clue what we're meant to do here. Does it line up with the bow in some way? No, because they're all straight. 
What about just the ones that are heading towards us? So there's a rock in the way here. That's us. So that's not going to hit us, for example. This bottom one's not going to hit us. Do we tap the ones that that's... are going to hit us or aren't? Or... I don't know, let's try... Well, okay, let's draw... Let's use the straight edge of a card. Work let's out. assume that is us. Yeah. We'll tap... We'll do the ones that aren't going to hit us first. So that one's not going to hit us, so we'll ignore it, right? Okay. And then there's this one. That's going to hit us. No, it's going to oh, miss. it's not. That's going to miss. That's going to hit us, so we'll tap that. Uh, so this one here is going to hit That's us, gonna so hit we'll us. tap that. And then this one here is going to miss. That's going to miss. That That's one gonna here hit is going to hit you. Which one is that? That's the one closest here, yet. right? And I think the others are going to hit the rocks. No, Absolutely that not. one's going to hit us. <laughs> and the two below are going to hit the rocks. So I've highlighted the ones that are going to hit us. Should we go OK? Yeah. You manage to dodge the arrows and find yourself in a poorly lit dead end. Take, Take card, card 50. 50. Don't mind if we do. Which is ironically, because it happened to be at the top of my pile, the, the one, one I was using. Hooray! Uh, and discard 84. Okay, right. you dodge the arrows easily and pick up card 22. Okay. So many cards. Broken arrows litter the floor. Only one of them is still usable. Okay. Shall we combine it with our... Oh, our bow. Bow. Yes, so that's... Ooh, can we do that? No, because that's 100, Nine, and yeah. our highest card's 99. Okay. That's a shame, isn't it? Only one of them is usable. Can we use them with anything? Have we got any other red cards? Maybe we combine them with the... the maybe we do combine them with the bow, but perhaps we have to like physically combine the pictures to point at certain letters. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Which of these bows is still usable? But is it this one here? It's the only usable one, right? I think. Hang on, there's a there's an arrow here. That's oh. the only usable one, and it's got colours on oh, it. Oh, yeah, and we line it up with this. Look, there's a there's a notch for that F, e. or an E, or maybe that's not right. But there's a notch, yeah. And then there's some other colours, and there's green for here and blue for here. Is it going to spell something? It surely is. Yeah, but how do we? Well, we if we if we did it as an actual arrow. So this is the red's the back bit, right? So you no, you put it on here, maybe, and then you notch it back to here. I feel that should really be the other way up. Oh yeah, I've got it backwards. I'm an idiot. So we line it up with the, with this, right? Oh, uh, okay. So it's F I V. Is there an E somewhere? I feel we should need an E, right? How do you know it's I? Oh, because it lines up there. Yeah, so we've put the arrow pulled back, right, ready to fire. F I V. Yeah. Maybe we need an E to hit with it. I don't see an E on here, do you? I don't see any anyway. Is there something we need to fire an arrow at that we haven't got to yet? We're taking card five. F-I-V doesn't... F-I-V is not a full word, obviously. It's not. Well, let's put that aside for now. No, I want to find an E. <laughs> yeah, well, it might be on one of the other things we haven't done. It might. So this we've used to pick up the arrows. So we'll put yeah. that aside. Okay. This we've used to pick up pieces. So we'll put that aside. We haven't used this. No. This was... Well, I reckon we've used that to trigger the other bits we've picked yeah, up. Yeah, it just... It said, did you spot the hidden object? I just wondered if there was, was anything. The but there's nothing else there, is there? Maybe. No, I can't see anything. Put that aside. We've, We've got, got this, which I reckon we do need to we need to cast a spell on. But maybe we don't have the right yeah, spell for it yet. Maybe not. Or maybe, we, a or maybe we draw the whole thing. Maybe that's the, Maybe you have to work out the hidden spell. You know, Maybe mm -hmm. the, the secret is just to, just to draw the whole thing. Do the whole thing. Oh, I know. That wasn't very neatly done. No, it doesn't recognise that I couldn't manage to do that. Okay. Um, Not that What then. are we going to do with the, with the shield? What are we going to do with the shield? Bash it into the wall. <laughs> I mean, you could bash it into the wall. Does that make any sense? I feel like there's definitely something in these cards. It's got to be sufficient. Maybe it lines up with this. Is this the E here? We just need to find a card with an E to lie over. What might you shoot the arrow at? Is there any on yeah, here? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking on. Let's see if we've got the number five. Have you got a five? <laughs> I can't tell because you've sorted your deck upside down. So. I have got a five, but but why? Where is there an E? Broken arrows list of the floor. Only one of them is still usable. Yeah, but we haven't got anything to fire it at. In story-wise, it doesn't make sense to fire mm. it yet. Shall we try... I suppose at the, maybe... Oh, no, it was just a trap, wasn't it? So this we have an answer. Soon you'll be left with no fire and no light. What can you do? You want to light something, right? Should we try lighting the... Oh, no, you can't. It's got... And what does number. insert the fire element here mean? Oh, this! 
This is the fire element, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know what that means. But what do we do with it? Yeah. Maybe we scan it with the camera then. Does that magically add fire elements? Let's try attracting it to us. This is a bit desperate, I know. No. Oh! Oh! Yes! Oh, do we light something else? Now what do we light up? What are we lighting once we've got it lit? Uh, oh, I don't know. I've got a flame. Have we got anywhere poorly lit? Dodge the arrows. We did have somewhere that was quite poorly lit. <laughs> but where has it gone now? Has it gone? No, oh, it's just the basement that we came into first. Okay, so we can take the flame and apply it. I'm tapping it and see if anything happens. But we've got nowhere to apply it to. No. Ah! Okay, so I guess we haven't got any use for that yet, right? All right, we've got a flame that a flame we've that won't go flame. out. There is a light that never goes out. <laughs> um, that doesn't help. And we've got the five that we know it no E, unless you fire it forwards and then E appears. There's no E on here though, is there? No. Oh, unless when you fire it, it forms an E at the last minute, perhaps. That doesn't make any sense, does it? No. Let's just see what's on should card we take, five. Oh, I was going to say, should we take a hint for... No, let's take card five and see what's on it. That feels like cheating. We haven't earned the right. See what's on it. Oh, yeah, we don't use that yet. That's Definitely not. So we know that we can put that away for now. That's coming later. That's something to do with the dragon. <laughs> right, so this is a... We've opened this door. Yes, we've got fire. It says insert the fire element. Did I try overlaying it on this card? Oh, what, on the... Ah, no, I didn't. Oh. I, I must have overlaid it over every card. Except that one. Except the one it actually needed to go on. Take not card nine. Worry. We're there now. Numpty brain. Take That's me. card nine. Here it is. Ooh. Ah, we've got okay. a dated version of that card. Okay. The flame symbol has been added to your list of spells. You can now use it to aid your quest. Right, so we can set fire to things. Let's try burning the wall. Um, or maybe lighting, lighting illuminating the, the way. Yeah. I know. No, it's just the same as we did noise. before. Yeah. I'll just try it on the shield. Because, you know, who doesn't like to burn a shield? Well, I don't. I don't have any shields to burn anyway. Uh, that's not it. Is I it? thought it was like a torch, as in like to help illuminate Ooh. the way. Ooh. Somehow that did something. Take card 39. Oh, I'm baffled. You've ignited the grenade. What grenade? It's about to explode. That is a grenade. It's a shield, right? I think it probably didn't recognise the card properly, unless it said that was a grenade in the middle. It says get rid of card 21. Have we taken card... We haven't taken card okay, 21 yet. Okay, so it misrecognised the shield. Put we'll that get rid of that. Back. Okay. So. I'm confused. Right, so my guess is that we need to do something with this card. Yeah, so we had it right it at the start. How might you use this parchment scroll? It's got a bit darker because we just took a bit of a break. In case tea you break. wonder why the lights Tactical changed. Tactical tea break. But, so how might you use this? Let's see, look, look. The look, dragon's a, eye. Ah, maybe we're making flame. There's a flame here. That way. Maybe we do it this way. And should we set him on fire? I know we've tried that already, haven't we? But the flame has got multiple colours and it's got a sort of target on his eye. Yes, I know. And the flame is red, yellow and blue. I know, and it makes me Let's wonder... Let's try if... casting the flame thing on him. Oh, of course, it just starts the flame coming. But sometimes it says take a card, and yeah, nothing's happened there. So this is actually all of the spells simultaneously, isn't it? It's yeah. the up flame, yeah. the attraction and the blizzard. Yeah. So that suggests maybe that to destroy the, the dragon, dragon, we need all you use three. all three spells. Yeah. Well, let's take a hint for... What should we take a hint yeah, on? The wall. Okay, yeah? yeah. So I'll press the... Wait, hint button. Let's have a look. Type in 43, which is the card number. This is meant to be easy peasy. The constellation may help you to open the lions. We haven't got to a lion. Oh, yes, we've got a lion here. Oh. It doesn't... There's nothing about... That's interesting. Are we supposed to have lit the... I tried lighting that card. Maybe we're supposed to light particularly here. Let's try that. Just in case. We haven't been told that the lion does anything, though, have we? No, we haven't. That also may not be the only lion. I'm not. Try lighting 
I tried lighting this card already. What if you point specifically at the lighting sconce? 68. Okay. That's very hard to see 68. there. 68. <laughs> right. Given there's look. lots of unlit torches, I feel that's not particularly motivated. Right. Okay. So, I'm zooming on that. The quartz crystals sparkle as soon as you light the torch. I feel like we've missed something here. What quartz crystals? Each of the three discs can be rotated. Yeah, where did the quartz crystals come from? Yeah. What have we missed? Do I know quartz crystals on the, the wall in this no. picture? No. And it says get rid of card 94. Have you got card 94 still? No. no. Where's 94? Yeah. That's that. I think you are meant to light the torches in the basement. And I had tried that before and it didn't do anything. But it doesn't refer to quartz crystals, does it? There's no lion there I don't either, understand. and that's somewhere else. Let's just take... We've got card 68 now. I'm so baffled. Okay, so I'm often baffled with these games. Let's take a hint for card 50 and see what it says. Out of interest. It is very dark. Illuminating this wall will help you continue your adventure. So that's what we just did. Okay. Well, so... It refers to quartz crystals it hasn't mentioned anywhere else. I that's think, very I think, I think that's literally it. Okay. Well, that's a machine card anyway, yeah, so we can have a look at that. Um, Shall so we, we make need it... to make them look like the constellation, I assume. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that's got to be like that. Over here, it's got to be like that. Are they just going to line up with the bricks? So yeah. I know, we're just... They look right to me, the two, the left they hand one and the bottom right. one, so it's just the top. Okay, this needs to rotate one. <laughs> Take our 21. So, a small leather bag full of powder with a fuse covered in pitch. So I think if we light that, it yeah. will become the this grenade is, that we discovered. This is what discovered. lit by accident, right? Yes. So let's light it, even though it, conceptually that doesn't make a lot of sense because we don't want to blow up yet. No. I'm not really sure why we're trying to get behind this wall or anything oh, like that. Oh, we're going to blow up the wall with a grenade. Thank you for solving that puzzle. Oh, you're welcome. But I'm not sure. What, we haven't been told that we need to get behind the wall or anything no, like that. No, Anyway, 39. Sense, is it? You've ignited the grenade. It's about to explode. Throw it at the wall, which is crumbly because apparently grenades won't blow up non-crumbly walls. So we add them together, yes? Yes. 82. 82, that's in your pile. Oh. We got an 82. We do. Hooray, let's have a look. Let's be having you. Okay. Oh, right, a secret tunnel that's there. And a, a guy in the mask. Well, possibly an actual evil person. Yeah, person in the Discard skull. 39, it's 43 and 39. Great. Right. And take card 12 and 99. Great. Because there's someone covered in arrows. I you blow through the cracked wall. A smell of sulphur and burning wafts from the dungeon's bowels. Oh. You are near the dragon's lair. I'm not sure. I like the use of bowels. <laughs> Nor there. do I. No, okay, there's 12. Here's You've 99. got 99. Oh, here's. The dead hero that you can barely see. That's very friendly, isn't it? Wore a leather belt with a pack of holding attached to it. What does holding mean? What does a pack of holding mean? I've got absolutely no idea. What is contained within? We simply do not know. Yeah. Okay. A pack of holding. A skeleton. Is holding a thing? Is that a noun? I've got no idea. Would you like some holding for dinner? A pack of holding. Yeah, a pack of holding. Okay. okay. I can't tell if that's just really badly written or whether we don't understand the word Maybe holding. we just don't know what it means. A skeleton guards the passage to the dragon's lair. You must fight it. I would think we'd We've fight... got a sword. Shall we, we just try and... Not a sword. A shield. Shall we defend ourselves? Oh, right, yes. 31 and 12. That gives you 43 and it that's does. in your pile. Is it? Oh, I don't have 43. Oh, dear. Okay, well, we can't defend ourselves. Not that, then. Well, I mean, we can defend ourselves, but not with that. We have an arrow, but we... We do have an arrow. Is there nothing, there's nothing for the arrow to aim at on here, is there? A white bit. Mm. What else have we got we can wave it here? We've got anything else blue? What have we got? We've, I mean, we've... we've got broken arrows. What happens if we get the arrow? 34. Yeah. We don't have a 34. Oh. Um, we could wave the torch at him, but it's not blue. Yes, yeah, so we could still wave the torch at him, because we could use the spell. So, if I... Oh, yeah, why don't we use a spell? No, oh, we can't see that on camera. Oh, sorry. Oh, gosh. What's happening? Magic cannot harm it. You must use a weapon. Okay. Hmm. Like an arrow? Yeah, like an arrow or a shield, which neither of which work. 
Okay, maybe we can't do anything with that yet? Definitely no 43. Maybe we need to open the... Maybe there's a weapon in the holding. Whatever the holding is. But what do we do with it? Uh, maybe we open it with attraction or something. One of the spells. I think oh, yeah, is... let's try attraction. Sometimes we do have to... We forget about all the magic that we can... All the different things you can do with yeah. the app, yeah. I didn't draw it properly, I think. There you go. Magic is ineffective, what, on that too? Magic is ineffective. Or just generically. We'll assume that means generically. Okay. Um, right, we need a weapon. We've got rid of our grenade. I feel we've used this. Let's have a look back out at what we've got. Yeah. That I feel we've used. Yeah. We've used our grenade already. This was just the entrance. That's room. the entrance, so we'll just put that to the side. We feel that this is telling us how to defeat the dragon that we haven't got to with the the bow that we can't use with him because it's also red. Um, unless you can use it because it's blue under dodgy logic. Because the card's red, but the barrel itself is blue. Um, and then we've got the spells, but it's told us not to use them. We've got a torch that we can't combine because it's grey, but that's also really, I think we've used that to create the spell, right? This looks a bit like an axe. I disagree. It looks like a belt with a It's like a belt with holding in it. What's holding? We don't know. There's a shield again. We can set fire to it. We tried that before. And all it did was accidentally think it was a grenade. There's another scene. But that's just the bow. Mm -hmm. A lot of people lying around, aren't there? Yeah, everyone's had a terrible time. It's not very encouraging. Any hidden numbers in here? We've taken 12 and 99. Any hidden numbers? A smell of sulphur. We could try setting fire to the scene, but then I feel that's using magic. And it's it's using magic us, and also, us, there you... seems to be enough fire around already. I feel that I'm not drawing that shape as well as it wants me to. I think it's going to tell us we're not allowed to use magic again. No. Didn't even recognise it. Okay, oh should we take a hint goodness. for him? Yeah. 12. A hint for number 12. Oh, we've only got one minute left. This I is... don't think this is one out of three stars, personally. No, this is... I'm still convinced... We need a we're... weapon to fight it. The Dead Adventure might have one in their pack. We tried that. The Dead Adventure is 99. Here's their pack. Maybe we're supposed to do attraction on him. I tried using spells. No, we did it on this. We didn't use the attraction spell actually on the person. Yes, but this this was attack. This, I yeah. Cons I'm not saying it's right. I'm not no, saying. No, no, no. It's... I think you may well be right. But but I will point out that we've already been over to the hero and had time to undo his belt. I guess so. so. I'm pretty sure that we could have looked in his bag at the same time. Well, so I might be wrong. No, no. I suspect you're right. I don't know. Um, I'm very confused. It doesn't make any. And I'm still not sense. sure why. How do we attract with Tam's triangle? I never know whether it's actually detecting the picture correctly or not. Magic cannot harm it. We're not trying to harm it. Is there any, are there hidden numbers on there or something? This is driving me mad! I don't think it looks like a hidden number. Is it meant to look like a number, the belt? OK, we'll have to take a hint for this card, won't we? Yeah. This is not easy, I no, wouldn't say. No, I it's feel not... not... You've seen this pack of holding. What does that mean? This pack of holding somewhere before, but where? I mean here, and presumably here. You've seen it before somewhere. Was it on... I'm just going to see if it was anywhere else. Broken arrows or... I haven't seen this before. Every time we pull a new card, I'm so convinced that we've missed something. I often don't know whether... I'm baffled. There are weapons here. So I've because you don't seem to have them. Um, I often am confused because I think, well, that doesn't make any sense. I have a weapon, I can shoot him. Why can't... I have an arrow. You can't use that one. I have a bow. Why can't I just shoot him with it? Can we try hint number two? Because oh, I yes, feel like we could... Oh, yes, another hint. Yeah. Yes. yes. That's what I just looked at. The box. No, the, the first card. Is it not the box? You have one in your hand. It means on the back of the thing. I just pointed at that. It was on the back of the first card here. I just pointed at the weapon here. But I didn't actually have it in my hand. This is just a decorative picture, unless I had a hand telling me about the adventure I was going to have. Do I have to attract the thin off the starting card? Maybe the sword? 
Yes, we want the solution. Tack it with a sword you found in the pack of holding. I haven't found a sword in the pack of holding. And also... That how, is card 99. How is that... What? That's not going to fit a sword. If that's the belt buckle, how is that a sword in this magical pack? A pack of holding, I can only think, is a really poor translation from something in French. A pack of holding. It's less, it's like, well, you may be right, it's referring to the box. But the box, oh. Uh, is it? Dr. Gareth Moore. It does say 23 at the bottom. It of does it. say 23 at the bottom of it. I said, let's look at the box, and you said no. I didn't stop you looking at the box. I just it told you you were it's wrong. Not be that. Mm, yeah, that feels like I don't look at the box. Hang on a minute. So, this is. Okay, so we're supposed to assume that pack of holding means the pack of. This box. It's meant to look. It's meant to be. Oh, sorry, it's not on screen. If it just said pack attached to it, I don't think that would actually help me. Also, this doesn't fair, look right? anything like that box. It's not grey in any way. And yeah. I was so confused by what pack of holding means. It also doesn't have this dimple at the top. Yeah, it doesn't. Or at the back. And in fact, it opens the other way. I think that there's no reason on earth why you should... I mean, eventually you might. We're going for 23. Yeah, 23. We've got a sword. Oh, finally. Right, you I... pull a long sword out of the pack of holding. I'm going to go straight on Google after this and find out if pack of holding it's is not a thing. It's not a thing, no. It means the pack that held all the cards. The pack of holding. I do think it's probably a rock shocking translation. But that's me being very charitable. It you... may just be a shockingly bad... <laughs> You're always... You know, giving translators a bad name, I think they do fantastic work. And we are, but I am going to Google afterwards anyway. Right, so I think we can now take card 35, which I have here. Right. Ooh, Ooh, it's just a dragon. There's, yes, an e. there's an E. There's an E. There's an E. After eliminating the undead guard, you enter a room piled high with gold coins. A dragon watches over the treasure. Right, now we Should know. Should we line it up so that we get the word fire? I know to shoot him because of this card that shows you firing the red yellow, blue, white, at the dragon's eye. Mm -hmm. The eye is here. So if we put the tip of the arrow on the eye, it then spells, reading across, F, and then that's... An I tell you how I you're actually probably supposed to motivate that, is by, if you look e. underneath, underneath here, you've got... Sorry, can we get rid of these extra cards? You've got T, U, V, like that, so that they actually line up like that, so that when you actually line up this with this then you should just get that anyway. Do you right, see what I mean? Yes, right, okay, so we take card five. So now I can take card five. Great, we really did skip to the end of the story when we accidentally took card five. Yes. Right, after shooting out the dragon's eye with an arrow, it breathes fire at you in retaliation. What will you do? Well, can we, we can freeze use, it? We can use a spell or we yeah. can use a shield. Shall we use the shield? Yeah, we, we use the shield. Should we try using the shield? It's made of wood. Well, Maybe we freeze the shield and then I, use and it. Also, are we about to be told that we can't use magic on this dragon, which we is evidently magic? We can't because we haven't, we've got blizzards. We've got bli yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm. Well, let's try using the shield. Oh, no, we can't. Well, it's oh, blue no, it's, anyway. Oh, wait, where do we use the shield? Do we use it on the eye or on the hand? Or on the fire. On the fire, on the fire, right, 33. Uh, yeah, we've got that. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You shield yourself from the dragon's breath. Mere weapons have no effect on him. Only magic can destroy him. Right, so we've now got this card, and we can discard 5, 31, whatever 1 was. It was one of the first what cards we one? had. Yes. So now we have this card. Shall we try all the spells at once on him? Uh, you're, yes, because that's what the dragon with the... That's, that's the other the, thing that's on what the, the dragon parchment card. Scroll that's the other thing the about. parchment tells you, right? So do all of them at once. It doesn't say do all of them at once, but no. let's. It does motivate you to try all of them, doesn't it? <laughs> I, I feel actually quite demotivated by this particular one. I don't think I love. There you go, and the circle. Excellent! The dragon is defeated. You retrieve his treasure and slip it into the pack of holding that we pack hate of holding. very much. 
<laughs> before leaving the dungeon. You're now ready to face new dangers. You wonder why you didn't cross paths with the malevolent sorcerer, Do Aaron. Oh, I thought it was the name of the dragon. I thought it was the dragon too. Yeah, well, who knows? Maybe someday you'll seek him out. But that's another story. I've still got a card. It says Do Aaron's dungeon and it shows the dragon. So you think he was saying, oh, hi, Do Aaron. Hmm. Having to do. And there was only one card left and it was, no. That was the one that was at the bottom of the pack. Yes. Well, there we go. So according to the app, we took 38 minutes. Uh, we took four hints. You got nothing wrong, but I don't think there's any opportunity to get anything wrong. Apart from that no card we didn't take. Yeah. Um, and it gave us three out of five, which is fine. Which Generous, is... I think. <laughs> yeah. How What's... do you feel after that, Gareth? After this game? Well, this is Unlock Short Adventures, Do Aaron's Dungeon. Mm. I thought it was fine. Fine, Laura. Fine, but not great. Fine, but not great. Because I'll tell you why. It doesn't make any sense at the start. You just have a bunch of random locations that you get all at once. That, that doesn't it doesn't motivate you. The story should lead you in. You should start in a room mm. and so you know where you are. <laughs> if Gareth it, designed a game. <laughs> well, no, I mean, it doesn't bring you into the story. Yeah, I think I also, we got so many cards all at once, which is That's fine nice. as long as you feel like there is somewhere to start and that that then continues along the narrative and the mm. things kind of come in along the way. Whereas I don't understand why there were crystals in the wall. That was never mentioned. So it feels like when you do get to those things, because they haven't really been introduced to you properly, that you're going wrong somewhere. Oh, yeah. No, indeed. Like, it just suddenly says the, the quartz crystal sparkle. And you think, what are you? But which, there are no quartz crystals in the previous crystals? scene. Here's the previous scene. They're not even there unlit. They're just not there. And the fact that there's multiple torches and you have to know without any motivation to light this one. Yeah. And the fact that you don't know that the app is capable of pointing at a specific thing. But, I mean, I also and assumed doesn't work we've got reliably. a torch here. I'm thinking, well, we've got a torch that we can move around. In, in the real world, I wouldn't then go around lighting all of them. I'd just have light Yes, yeah, so, I mean, it does say it will go out soon. But I'm, that doesn't really make, make fit with the story either because you haven't told uh, however long it takes you before you... Um, we're about to meet a dragon. I feel like it. there's going to be plenty of fire and on the way. It also doesn't make sense you've got multiple weapons and you can't use them, um, really, conceptually. And also, this is suddenly called a grenade, but it isn't called a grenade on the previous page. I mean, no, you realise you meant to infer that. And also, why would we be breaking down this wall? It doesn't tell us. The story doesn't motivate us. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so I think not that, Gareth's favourite, I think, is the review. Yeah, I felt... I, I really like things to be for there to be a really clear narrative and for things to feel confirmed when you get them right and that's what the motivation yeah. is all about. But this and is the the pack what of is hold, a pack of holding. Pack of holding. <laughs> We're going to Google it. We might put some it's notes in the description. No, no, there's nothing to say, is there? What is the pack of holding? It's nothing. It's just the pack that holds the game stuff. The pack of holding. It's trying to be like whimsical, I think. Right, there we go. Well, maybe you completely disagree with my and Laura's synopsis of the game. Uh, maybe not synopsis, but opinion on the game. I would say I'm not angry, but I am disappointed. Oh, well, no, angry is way too strong. <laughs> also, I think when you play something, you tend to have quite a strong opinion. Yeah, we get, get emotionally involved. Which doesn't necessarily mean that you would think the same when you sat down and thought about it afterwards. But I do think that's quite guessy in places i think so many unlock games into the series that suddenly looking in the box is a bit out comes totally out of left field without any stronger hint in the game particularly with the graphics not a draw not matching the deck mm. it's really hard we to were thrown to off that. by the pack of holding for and sure and that weird language mm. yeah and also it doesn't really make sense that there's a sword inside that packet of course there's a magical land so you can't really argue with things like that yeah yeah anything goes i suppose when there's magic well there we go if you enjoyed the video let us know if you didn't enjoy it also let us know down in the comments beneath um and let us know whether you thought we were really slow and disagree with my opinion or if we missed anything incredibly obvious because yeah. sometimes we do and you guys point it out and we're like oh yeah yes, <laughs> that's true um but otherwise yeah please like the video and please subscribe if you haven't already and, um, well, that's pretty much all I have to say. Anything you want to add? No, I think we've covered everything there. All right, well, I'll say goodbye now. Till we see you in a future video, it's goodbye from me. And goodbye from me. Bye! Bye.